Christ is risen. Christos a înviat. I made the promise to myself and to God and that's why I'm here tonight. I made the promise first of all to to speak God's word. We go to work every day and people don't know that we are Christians. People don't know that we follow Christ. That's right. And I made a promise to God and I said, God, help me live your life. And help me have you and your light shine upon me and the people that live yes, so. around us. Yes. Yes. And I said, God, help me proclaim your resurrection every day Amen. not only on Easter yeah. when All people time. celebrate Easter eggs mm -hmm. and bunnies but every day when we celebrate Jesus that has risen for us and for the whole world I want to read I'm not going to take a lot of time I want to hear the word but I made a promise to God and that's why I'm here tonight I need to I need to share this with you uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. The Bible says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to our sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Do you believe in God's miracles? Yes, amen. Do you believe that you were past tense? You were healed. Yes, amen. You were healed when that Jesus died for us. Yes, amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. Do you believe that? Amen. Do you believe that there is power in the blood of Jesus that was dripping from the cross so we can be healed and live? Yes, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to. I have, a, I have a testimony. God worked in my life in the past four months of this year like no, no other. And I want to I wanna, I wanna talk to you about what God did to me about a month ago. Hallelujah. It was one morning I woke up and I was ready, getting ready to go to work. And as I get up, I have this very sharp pain in my abdomen. Very sharp, like hernia. I never heard, I never had hernia, but I, I've heard people talk about it, and I, in my mind, I thought that's the pain of hernia. And I said, oh my God, I need to go to work. I can't work, and I was like this. I was walking to the bathroom like this. I couldn't get up. And I said, I need to go to work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on my knees and I'm gonna pray to God for He, for he can heal me. He can heal me right here, right now. So I went on my knees and I said, God, I need to go to work. I can't call off. I know, I know that you can heal me. Yes. Please heal me and help me believe. Because I, I, a lot of times I, I hear people, testimonies and God heals and all that. You know, and I, I, I have doubts. Like, if, you know, the devil just comes with doubts in your mind. So I, I, I was trying not to doubt, and I said, I believe that you can heal me before I leave my house, before I get in my car. I know you can heal me. Amen. It was a short prayer. I got up, I was still hurting, I got dressed, I went downstairs, and I was tying my shoelaces. After I, I tied my shoelaces, I got up, and I went to get my keys, and I realized that I'm not hurting anymore. Amen. I said, praise the Lord that He can heal today. Amen. Come to the cross. If you have pain in your body, if you have sickness in your body, if you have pain, He suffered for you. You don't need to suffer anymore. Come to the cross and have the drips of His blood fall on your wound. And have healing in Jesus' name. Amen. I just wanted to share that with you and 
It's very hard, believe me. It's, it was very hard to come before you because I'm not a speaker. I don't preach. I, I hope God will speak to me and to my life so people can see God's love. But I'm not a preacher and I don't preach. And it was very... The devil was coming to me and after this, when I was praying, I forgot. When I was praying, I told Jesus, if you heal me, I will tell everybody. Everywhere I go, I will tell everybody that you healed me. Guess what I did? I was embarrassed because I didn't know if God really healed. I was, I had my, you know, because the devil came in my head and said, you know, you, you just slept twisted somehow. And, you know, it, it, you know, it wasn't God. You just, you know, don't tell people, you, you'll be embarrassed yourself. And I said, it took for me one month. This is the first testimony I give, and I will tell everybody. Because I, I tell you what, I did not have peace. I did not have peace in my heart until today. And I know I will sleep good tonight, because now I have peace. Because I, I did keep my promise. Amen. Doru, Fratele Doru knows. Because we've been talking about this. And I, I just, I can't believe how God works in my life. I don't want to make the same mistake twice. I don't want to take another month to come and tell you what God did last night. That's true. Brother Doru knows. About two, three years ago, about three years ago, two and a half years ago, I had a very bad sprain on my left ankle from playing sports. Sports are good, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but do we, do we read the Bible, how much we play sports? Do we stay on our knees with God or how much we stay on Facebook and playing sports? No, we don't. We need to do that. Amen. About three years ago, I had a very, very bad sprain on my left leg. So I, you know, I was recuperating four months. I was limping like this for four months. Guess what happened to my back from all that limping? My back got shifted. My lower back got shifted. I went to the doctor. They took x-rays and they couldn't see anything but i was in pain i was walking like this i couldn't brush my teeth i couldn't tie my shoelaces that's why i had to sit on the stairs and i'm 27 years old and i said god why how and now i know why so i can tell people about his his mercy and how he can heal us in his name and his his blood last night i was hanging out with some friends from church and I was hurting. I was hurting. My back was hurting, and I did. We we were at this guy's house, and we just said, you know, we were talking about God, and you know, through His Word and stuff. And we we just said, let's let's go pray. This guy said, let's go, let's pray. So we got on our knees, we prayed, and I felt God presence, like I I felt the Holy Spirit through me, run through me, like. You know, when you get goosebumps, yeah. I felt his presence like that. And then, we pray. it was a short prayer, about five minutes, ten minutes. It was nothing. But God healed my back. Yeah. I got up right before, ten minutes before. I could not bend over to get my cell phone because my cell phone was sitting on the floor charging. I couldn't get it. I was walking, I was, I was watch, walking like this, like, a, like 80 years old man. And God healed me last night. And I don't want to take another month and listen to the devil telling me that, nah, it was just a, a temporary thing. You just got better. You, you know, you moved somehow and you just uh, put it back. No, God put it back for me. And I declared his blood on my wounds and on your wounds. And God can heal you. If you have something in your body, you are healed. You were healed when He died for you Amen. on that cross. So let the blood of Jesus drip on your wound Amen. and heal you. And I thank you guys for, for giving me the opportunity and, and share this with you. Because I, I did not have peace. I needed to, to tell you this because this is God's doing. And I believe and it does not hurt anymore. Amen. My back does not hurt anymore. It has been hurting for two and a half years. Mm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord.